So yesterday, Instagram went ahead and they flagged one of my posts as being, and I quote, partly false information. Now, as my followers know, Facebook tried some bullshit like this on me about two months ago when I was just warning people about how dangerous and unnecessary it is to take a fast track vaccine. I actually quoted a bunch of different verifiable sources, including how in 1976, that mandatory vaccine campaign ended up actually killing more people than the disease itself did. And much to my surprise, when I challenged that, Facebook went ahead and they reinstated the post. Now we have something very similar with Instagram, except Instagram is not even giving me the opportunity for any recourse or to challenge them. So because they are playing dirty like that, what I'm gonna do is be open, honest, transparent, and engage in what it takes to ascertain the truth and fact check it with you guys. So here's the post, as you can see, just a little comic meant to be kind of make jab a little fun at how just totally ridiculous it is for the overwhelming majority to go ahead and get a vaccine, especially if you're a healthy person. And yeah, you see the guy ask, this will make me immune, right? And then the lady says, no, you can still get COVID-19. So let's take a look at that. Is there anything factually inconsistent about that? I mean, once you get the vaccine, are you going to be immune to COVID? And we see even in establishment media headlines here, CNN, yes, you can still get infected with COVID-19 after being vaccinated. Here's why. And I encourage you to go read it for your own context, don't just blindly believe what I'm saying. BBC, same thing. This was published just this month. What does it say in the subheading here? There is no evidence, I repeat, no evidence that any of the current COVID-19 vaccines can completely stop people from being infected. And if you would like to go to a more trustworthy source, since CNN and BBC have terrible records, can COVID vaccines stop transmission? This is just from three days ago, 19th February 2021, and they admit it is possible that vaccines will not stop or significantly lessen the chances of infection, guys. The evidence clearly shows that it does not guarantee immunity. It may give you a couple months immunity, which is exactly what our natural immune response can do and has been measured in studies to do. So again, I see no logical reason why a healthy person should go ahead and get this, this vaccine especially when it's not dangerous for the overwhelming majority of society. So let's go ahead and in fact check the second claim. Will I have to keep wearing a mask even if I get the vaccine? Yes, that's precisely what they are saying. Once again, nothing factually inconsistent or inaccurate about that. And then the third and final one, if this harms me, is the manufacturer reliable? And she says no. Well, once again, if we look around at different establishment media outlets reporting on this, yeah, we see UK government has given Pfizer legal protection. Something similar in Canada. Yeah, in South Africa, where I am located, same thing. And then also in the United States, they go ahead and remark on the same thing. But to use their weaponry against them, right? The fact checkers against the fact checkers. What does it say here from Newsweek? Are pharmaceutical companies immune from COVID-19 vaccine lawsuits? And they actually quote a law that came into fruition in 1988 in which it states, no vaccine manufacturer shall be liable in a civil action for damages arising from a vaccine-related injury or death that is associated with the administration of a vaccine after October 1st, 1988. So their ruling was true. So when we go ahead and we look at this, we see that what I shared was factually accurate. So what, what's the deal? Who is exactly doing this? Well, if we go ahead and we click on the information, who they claim and why it's, it's partly false. It says that they work with third-party fact-checkers across the globe who review content in over 60 languages and are certified through the non-partisan, non-partisan international fact-checking network to help identify, review, and label false information. Well, who is this so-called international fact-checking network? That is the Pointer Institute, guys. The Pointer Institute is heavily financed by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In fact, PolitiFact, the most prominent of these organizations, and Africa Check, which is particularly prominent in Africa, in South Africa where I'm located, were financed and started by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And this is significant because the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, they have huge investments in the same vaccine companies that are producing the coronavirus vaccines. It's just a very simple and basic conflict of interest. Always question the so-called fact checkers because they are not independent. And as you can see, sometimes they get it wrong. 